We start off with some developing news. A push to offer migrants housing at a former Catholic church is being met with protests. The city wants to use the former St. Bartholomew Church near Cicero and Addison in Portage Park. But today, community members voice their opposition. They say it's not about the migrants, but about those who already live here. Lexi Suter reports. Outside the former St. Bartholomew Catholic School, a group of residents are airing their concerns and complaints with city leadership now that the building is slated to become a temporary migrant shelter. They have no clue what they're doing. They have to take care of their own constituents, their own people, before they take care of anybody from the outside. I really don't feel safe, you know, with any new strangers walking around the neighborhood. People here say a lack of resources and lack of safety are their main issues with the plan. They believe the school should be used for children in the community or to help residents who are homeless, but that won't be the case. I think it's a crime against the people of the United States of America, and it's time that we stand for what is right. According to a release from Alderwoman Ruth Cruz's office, the city will move between 300 to 350 migrants into the former school, a partnership that was completed between the city and the archdiocese. The archdiocese says it's looking at all of its vacant properties to see which could be suitable to help with housing migrants, while city officials have the final say. The city could move migrants into this former school as soon as January. They are saying there will be an information session for residents. As soon as we know when and where, we will pass that information on to you. For now, reporting in Portage Park, Lexi Suter, NBC5 News.